Hello everyone, welcome to the channel where today we will be putting a legend of the game back into FM23 to see how they cope with modern football. Now that player is Luis Figo, as I'm sure you've guessed as he's on the screen now. He played for teams such as Barcelona, Real Madrid, Inter Milan, but we're going to start his career back where he started off all them years ago at Sporting Club de Portugal in the B team. As you can see, his attributes are already looking very good. And if we take a look at his current ability, it sits at 105 at the age of 17 with a potential of 190. So let's simulate the first season, see how he goes on. So it's the end of season one and he did play one game for Sporting Speed Team. He then moved to Portuguese second division team, Uniao Deliria, where he managed to get nine goals in 30 games and two assists with an average rating of 7.22. Very good first season. At the age of 18, he's already valued at between 15 and 47 million and his current ability now sits at 123 so he's made some big progress in this first season but we're now going to simulate a couple of seasons into the future see if he can break into that sporting team remember he didn't move to barcelona till he was about 23 years old in 1995 he then moved to real madrid in 2000 where he won the ballon d'or he won the champions league with real in 2001 so this figo has got big shoes to fill if he's gonna get to the level that luis figo reached in real life so we're now three seasons into this simulation. In the second season, he did break into the sporting first team, playing 27 games, scoring six goals and creating three goals with a 7.2 average rating. Very good season, breaking into that sporting first team. Now this season that's just finished, he only played 22 games, scoring four goals and creating three. So we're going to have to see why he's not playing as many games as the season before and this is the reason it's heartbreaking he suffered a broken lower leg he will be out for two to three months i'd imagine it was more than that but this is when we've stumbled on it so he's just turning 21 in november he's only 20 years old i really hope this doesn't set him back in this simulation so his current ability sits at 140 it is heartbreaking with this injury because this would be flying up now i was hoping at this point he'd be cemented in that first team maybe with a few medals but he hasn't won anything yet with sporting so we're now going to take it into the future about four or five seasons into the future see if he recovers from this injury and see if he becomes the Luis Figo that we know he can be. So we are now five seasons further ahead. Luis Figo's 25 years old. We're in 2030. Now did I say I was worried about that leg break? I needn't have bothered. He's come back a lot stronger than he was before. He came back from that leg break. He played for Sporting's first team. He got himself... 20 goals in all competitions in 44 league games. This earned him a £65 million move to Arsenal. He moved there the season after. He played 26 times for the Gunners, scoring 7 goals with 5 assists and a 7.44 rating in his first season in the Premier League. Not only that, in his first season whilst at Arsenal, he earned himself his first cap for the Portuguese national team. He also got his first goal against Wales, age 21. He won a UEFA Super Cup with Arsenal, a Carabao Cup and an FA Cup, all in his first season. After that horrific injury, the guy is an absolute legend. Now into his second season with Arsenal, 28 games, 12 goals, 16 in all competitions, a 7.63 rating this time. He's just getting better every year. In that second season with Arsenal, he was a Premier League champion. 
He was an FA Cup runners-up this time and a European Championship runner-up with Portugal into his third season, 35 league games, 18 goals, 53 games in all competitions with a massive 30 goals. Remember, he's coming in from the wing. He's not playing as a striker. That is absolutely crazy numbers for a winger. He also had a 7.65 rating, so he's getting better every season. Not only the personal achievements in that third season at Arsenal, he won the Community Shield, a Carabao Cup runner-up, a Premier League champion for the second time. He was also a Champions League runner-up. So that was a bit of sadness at the end of the season. But he more than makes up for it in his fourth season with Arsenal. Probably his best yet. Not from a goal-scoring point of view, but all-round performance. He played 64 games in all competitions, scoring 23 goals. This helped Arsenal to become FIFA Club World Cup winners, Community Shield winners, FA Cup winners and finally Premier League champions for the 2029-2030 season. And his best season to date has left him finishing second in the FIFA Ballon d'Or, finishing only behind Kylian Mbappe. Now I think if Figo had a won the Champions League with Arsenal this season, that Ballon d'Or was definitely his to lose. And if we take a look at his attributes, they're absolutely crazy now. He hasn't suffered with many injuries since that major leg break. He is wanted by Liverpool, so we'll see what happens there. Just before we simulate five more seasons into the future, let's just look at his current ability. He now sits at 189. His potential's 190. He's nearly maxed that out. Let's see if in five seasons he's still at Arsenal, whether he gets a Champions League and whether he can win a Ballon d'Or as he did in real life. So everyone, in the following season, the 2030-2031 season, he played 54 games for Arsenal, scoring 26 goals with 16 assists and 17 Player of the Match awards surpassing anything he'd achieved in the game up to this point. And in the summer of 2030, he lifted the World Cup with Portugal, captaining his country to a World Cup win. He then went on to win another Premier League championship with Arsenal. But was it enough to grab him that Ballon d'Or award? And it most certainly was. For the 2030-31 season, Luis Figo was crowned best player in the world. He had an absolutely fantastic season. And just like real life, he wins that Ballon d'Or. The following season saw Luis Figo score 24 goals in 37 games in all competitions. This was enough to grab another Community Shield, another FA Cup, but Arsenal could only manage runners-up in the Carabao Cup. And it was a disappointing season in the league for Arsenal as they only managed a fourth-place finish. Figo was now 27 years old, but his current ability still sat at 188. He was showing no signs of decline as he grabbed his second Ballon d'Or win in the 2031-32 season. The next season saw Luis Figo bag 26 goals in 52 games for Arsenal and in the following season 25 goals in 52 games. This helped to win him his third Ballon d'Or in a row for the 32-33 season. However he was not winning as many trophies with Arsenal as they had now just picked up two FA Cups in the last two seasons. Figo was now 29 years old but his current ability still sat at 190 and he had plenty more seasons left in the tank. However, I did notice something that gave me cause for concern as in the 2032 season, he once again suffered a broken lower leg. 
In the 2035 season, Luis Figo scooped the UEFA Nations League with Portugal and he followed it up by winning the 2035-36 Premier League and Carabao Cup with Arsenal. In a season where he scored 24 goals in 51 games, it saw him win his fourth Ballon d'Or of this simulation at the age of 31 years old. We were now into the 2036 37 season and at 32 years old Luis Figo still sat at 185 current ability and despite a broken ankle in the 2034 season he showed little sign of declining just yet. The 2036-37 season saw Arsenal finish second in the Premier League but Figo picked up another Carabao Cup win. However, at the age of 33, he was slowly starting to decline and his current ability now sat at 175. In his 13th season at Arsenal, Figo won yet another FA Cup and another Carabao Cup, but age 34 he was only given another one year contract with Arsenal and his strength and stamina were quickly declining and his current ability now sat at 165. So everyone, Luis Figo has played his last game for Arsenal, he's retired, he's hung his boots up at the age of 35, his last season was the 2039-2040 season. His career ended in disappointing fashion as they did lose the FA Cup final in his last game to Manchester City. But he had an absolutely fantastic career as he did in real life. He started off as a 17 year old in Sporting's B team. He played just one game there before going on loan to second division side Uniao Deliria where he scored 9 goals in 30 games. He then had that heartbreaking injury, the broken lower leg. I was worried at that point, but I shouldn't have, as he got into Sporting's first team, making 77 appearances and scoring 21 goals. This earned him his big money move to the Premier League, where he stayed at Arsenal for 14 seasons. Whilst at Arsenal, he played 443 games, scoring 173 goals from the wing. Absolutely outrageous numbers. He won five Premier League titles, five FA Cups, four Carabao Cups and a Club World Championship. On a personal level, he won four Ballon d'Ors, only won one in his real career, but four in this simulation. On the international stage, he played 138 times for Portugal, scoring 80 goals, winning a World Cup and a UEFA Nations League. A phenomenal career. The one trophy he didn't win was the Champions League. He won that in real life with Real Madrid. He didn't win it in this simulation. However, he did win the World Cup with Portugal. So everybody, that is the end of the video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Growing up as a kid, Luis Figo was one of my favourite players. He didn't let us down in this simulation at all, did he? If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button for me. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. It does help the channel grow. But until next time... Goodbye from me.